and good morning everybody. What you're going to see here is a, a simulation, obviously. Uh, we put this together in order to give you just a small glimpse of some of the things that happened at a uh, crash scene. And we don't like to call this an accident if somebody's uh, been using drugs. This is a crash scene. But I want to give you a little bit of a talk, and I'm not going to bore you too much with it because I know that you've probably had some of this already with regard to alcohol and other drugs as well. As you know, we had a lot of DWIs in, in Monroe County. Um, last year we had roughly 2,500 people arrested for DWI in Monroe County um, with a pretty high BAC for alcohol content. Alcohol poisoning has taken a life of a person. And so at your age, if you have a BAC of about 0.35, around that level, you're probably going to pass away from blood, uh, from alcohol poisoning. And how alcohol kills you is that when the alcohol enters your bloodstream, it replaces oxygen in your blood. And you know all of your internal organs need oxygen to survive. And by replacing oxygen, your internal organs are depleted of that and eventually will become paralyzed and eventually will, it will stop working. So most people die from their breathing stopping, their lungs stopping. And so if you are arrested for DWI, the police officer, and you're going to see probably some of this happen here, is going to ask you to take what's called a breathalyzer, a data master we use now as a computer. It takes a breath sample and it analyzes through that breath sample how much alcohol by weight is in your blood. And the reason that that works that way is because when you have alcohol in your blood, when you breathe out through, through your lungs, through breathing, about 5% of the alcohol is going to be removed from your body through carbon dioxide in your breathing. So that's how a, a device, a computer, can take a breath sample and calculate how much alcohol is in your blood. Just to give you an idea 